found the mamas. Look at these. Coming off the backside of this anvil, we're in Post, Texas right now. Oh my God, classic, classic, gorgeous Hermanas clouds. So that is Serena Arnold. She's a storm chaser, meteorologist, and an author there. After the success of her first children's book, The Weather Story, she returns now with the second book, turning her attention now to hurricanes. Her new book, The Hurricane Story, follows Frances Fox on their journey of understanding how hurricanes form, move, and impact our lives and our homes. Serena, it's so <laughs> good to see you again. Yeah. Welcome back to Fox Weather. You know, it's, yeah, thank I, you. I loved your first book. We we loved bringing it to our viewers. Why hurricanes for your second book? Yeah, um, I think because they're so catastrophic, and mm -hmm. because I think they're so completely misunderstood. Yeah. I think that having people really have proper expectations set around what to expect when a hurricane comes, not only understanding how they form and function, but really understanding what does it mean to evacuate. What can it look like to your house when you return again? Um, and this can be a really scary thing for kids. So I think really making sure they can understand all of that was really important to me. I was just gonna mention that because kids, any type of severe weather can be a concern for them. How do you help prepare them and, and what kind of lessons do you think some parents can learn from this book? That's, that's a fantastic question. So one of the things that I love is I think education is the best key anytime there's any fear. So uh, a good book in educating and understanding whatever process is happening, whatever you're scared about, understanding and knowledge is always the answer. And so that's what I really wanted to do with this book was help kids understand how they form and function. They don't just appear out of nowhere. It's not someone up in the heavens stomping their feet every time there's thunder. I want them to really understand the scientific process behind this. And so um, they're gonna understand that, but then they're also gonna understand, hey, you may have to evacuate. You may actually have to leave your house as unfortunate and as terrible as that sounds. And when yeah. you come back, your house may look a lot different. And I think if we give kids that information up front and set those expectations, it's gonna be a lot less scary for them when they have to go through these potentially traumatic experiences. Yeah, knowledge is power. Yeah. Uh, I've just noticed that with my own children. We went through Harvey together as a family. Thankfully, we sent them away from Texas before it made landfall. But when they came back and they saw the debris piles, mm. they went back to school and, and they had friends that did lose their home. Having that knowledge makes that process a lot easier and functional to get through. Now, moving forward, Serena, mm. Are, are you thinking about book number three? Please. What would that topic be? <laughs> Please. <laughs> yeah, you guys, you guys are mind readers. Yeah, so <laughs> I started with the weather story um, and then it got picked up by a publisher. And so, and I was also given an illustrator, uh, Landon Goldsboro, who's a phenomenal illustrator. He illustrated the hurricane story for me. Next, and it's all, it's in illustration, it's already been written, is the tornado story. And uh, my publisher and I are actually working on having it be an entire series of weather focused and earth science specific education books for kids. So we're just getting started on this journey and the tornado story is gonna be next. I love it, real quick, we're out of time, but where can people pick up your book? Uh, they can get the hurricane story on Amazon. You can also go to francisfoxstories.com uh, and order all the books there and definitely go there to see what's coming out in the future. Love well, it. we thoroughly appreciate your main character, Francis the <laughs> exactly. Fox. Uh, that is meteorologist and storm chaser, Serena Arnold. Thank you so yeah. much. It's great to see you. And we can't wait to have you back for your third book. I can't wait. Thank you guys so much.